Um, we do have a, a question to start with, and the individual is from uh, rural Minnesota. I don't have a community here. I do like to refer to our viewing area, but I don't have it on this one. So the question uh, from this viewer is, I'd like to have uh, the consideration of two current bills, Senate file 1396, House file 1730, both pertaining to expanding the sub subtraction for military retirement pay for veterans receiving pension compensation based on military service. The bills, according to the viewer, have bipartisan support. So will either of these bills proceed for a vote yet this session, or do we know? And I'll yield to the lady here present tonight as a starting point. Representative? Uh, we've. I only have looked at the House tax bill. I do believe that there is some uh, a starting, a good starting point for um, a subtraction of, uh, of well, a deduction, I guess, of, of taxation um, for military veterans. We've been hearing a lot about that. We got a start on it two years ago in that tax bill, uh, and we are, believe, going to be able to continue. We don't know what the Senate tax bill looks like, but, um, you know, I think everyone realizes, and I think we are, we have, what, we're number one of six states that do not have um, a, a full um, that we that continue to fully tax the military pensions. Okay. Uh, next, want to hop across the table? Sure. Yeah. Um, I'm not on a tax committee either, but uh, um, I know that we've we've tried to incrementally attack these uh, um, pensions and Social Security and military pensions uh, just incrementally because there's you know we have to be honest that there's a lot of money that's collected from that. The federal government does tax it yet, and uh, it's. Uh, uh, I think it's you know it's something that we want to do, and if we can, we will we will continue with that incrementally. I know that uh, Social Security. I believe there's a there's a significant uh, mm -hmm. number that's in the tax bill this year. That's a, re so a reduction. Is there a conformity issue here between the feds and the state, or does that work into this? Well, and I. I'm a little confused because I thought that a few years ago we took care of the military pension, and I thought we excluded the the, uh, the pension from military because I know I receive one of those, and state does not tax my military pension. So I'm a little confused exactly what that pertains to. Well, so, the, the, I can't go beyond what yeah. the viewer has And I don't know, I, the, the tax bill, and I'm on the tax committee, but that those bills don't register. We end up yeah. with a lot of com bills in committee. Right. I, I don't recall that one as far as exactly what it pertains. But if it's a, but if it's a military pension, uh, the state does not tax mm -hmm. those as far as I know. We, we took care of that a few years ago. There's, there's one... Um, little wrinkle to it, and that's if the person has a, gets a disability, uh, because the disability is considered a, uh, um, a in a different category than the pension. I've had um, veterans, disabled veterans, complain to me that that this is a problem with them that they have to pay taxes on their and it's not, it's some kind of a subtraction system, yeah. and I I won't. Uh, admit that I <laughs> understand it at all. That's so the viewer refers to House File 1730, Senate File 1396. Are these the major tax bills or are there separate mm -hmm. pieces that came along? Yeah, they're, they're separate, separate pieces. Okay. Yeah, they're separate right, pieces. Good. Representative Hansen. Um, I'm not on the tax committee, but I believe we have something in the tax bill on this. I, I've been receiving a number of uh, emails about the Social Security uh, mm -hmm. uh, question, and I know we're increasing that subtraction uh, so it affects I think about 57 percent of Minnesota seniors if the House bill passed would uh, not be paying or they would have that subtraction but on the military I, I I thought we did something there because I don't know if you remember I had a uh, a former CIA officer in my district who wanted to be a part of that uh, and had testified uh, because they had served uh, overseas in clandestine service sure. and, and I think you remember that debate yeah, in do. committee. So, all right, um, we'll move on to our next question, unless we want to jump back into on that one particularly. Well, I know we're working. We are working on a piece that, uh, and I don't remember what number it was, but there was a 
there was a piece where disabled veterans, when it comes to property tax refunds, we actually add their disability compensation back in, and then they don't qualify. That, that mm -hmm. increase mm -hmm. in their household mm -hmm. income, they, we add disability compensation back in. We don't tax it anywhere else, but we add it back in when we, when we determine household income for property tax refunds, and it excludes a lot of disabled veterans from property tax refunds. And we tried to get that done this year, but we were struggling getting a, a fiscal note small enough to actually handle it. So we'll continue to work on that piece of it. Uh, we don't tax it anywhere, but we add it back in as household income, and I continue to argue it's not income, it's compensation for an injury. It shouldn't be included as income, but that's, that's one of the things I know we're working on. Well, so, this, yeah, go ahead. these things are costly because I think there's something like 336,000 uh, military veterans in our state. So, you know, you multiply any small amount by 336,000. <laughs> it's going to be big. So. Well, there's, there's, there's 96,000 disabled veterans receiving compensation uh, in, oh, really? in the state of Minnesota. Mm -hmm. 